I always loved going to the library as a kid and collecting as many books as I could. And it could be any subject. That's what was great about the library, was going there and getting a stack of books from all different subjects. I especially love true stories, but also, you know, when it blended into historical fiction. I love that. Mutiny on the Bounty, The Great Train Robbery, books like that. They took a, a real historical event and turned it into a thriller. Those are the books that excited me the most. So it's always fun to go look, see what I could find like that. And to this day, I love of finding books that I didn't expect to find. I did that just on my trip, you know, flying out from New York. Just went and meant to find one book but found something else. And I find ideas for books that way too. I go there and I think I'm searching for one thing, but I end up finding the thing that's next to it or maybe the thing across the aisle that's on a different subject. So invaluable every day. Well, I have, I use it like crazy these days. I have two young children, two and six, so we go there all the time for them. I use it like an office sometimes. I live in Saratoga Springs, New York now. A great public library. I go upstairs, it's very quiet, and I can sit there for hours at a time and just work. I can find the history books I need on the shelf, sit down and work, uh, go downstairs and get a cup of coffee, and uh, take the kids there after work. It's second home, basically, for me. You know, since as a kid, I always pictured librarians as a stereotypical way. And then when I became an adult, yeah, I mean, no, I, I realized all the coolest people I knew were librarians, uh, men and women. And it's true to this day, all the time, I, I meet someone new and they're a librarian. I'm always amazed at it. It's the coolest people. Now, I'm obviously very against censorship and banning books. I think it's so much more important to let kids read. If it's something's outrageously inappropriate, that's one thing, but to let kids read the controversial books and then talk to them about it as opposed to cutting something out. I know as a kid, it just would make me more curious to know what is it that, that's controversial about this. And it's a great way to learn too, to say, all right, here's why this is Huck Finn or something. Here's why it's controversial. And a kid can handle so much more than we give them credit for in terms of the complexities of American history, which is what I work on. And it's better to, to make it more complicated as opposed to oversimplify. My latest one is called Bomb. It's about, it's this nonfiction thriller. So that's what I try to do. I try to take historical facts and turn them into books that read like thrillers that are novels. Because people, especially young readers, when they hear history, they might expect, uh oh, it's going to be boring. It's going to be like my textbook, but this is not. So I take true stories and turn them into sort of page turners. That's my plan. And this is a page turner about the race to make the atomic bomb during World War II. And at the same time, the attempt to steal it, because as the Americans were trying to make it, the Germans were trying to build one, and the Soviets were trying to steal the plans from the Americans. So it's this global thriller taking place on different continents at the same time. Definitely my most ambitious book, so I'm excited to see how it, how it goes over.